Hello everyone, welcome to today's challenge. Today we have a very nice exponential challenge. The question reads, solve for x if bracket open root 2 plus 1 close bracket to the power of x plus bracket open into the square root of 2 minus 1 close bracket or to the power of x is equal to 6. What that will be the value of values of x in this challenge? Okay, so this is all I must TV. If you're new here, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop amazing video like the one you're about to watch right now. So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. Okay, so the first thing we do, let's take down our question by making our selection first. So selection, the question is, is square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of x plus bracket the square root of 2 minus 1 r to the power of x equal to 6. Now, if you look at this question, we can bring in another alphabet to represent this and a different alphabet to represent this. But that will give us a bigger challenge. So what I would do here is this. I want to make either the quantity I have inside this bracket to be same one I have in here or change this to this. So how do I achieve that? It is very easy. I want to change this to plus so that these two quantities will have the same thing. So all I need to do is to multiply this quantity here by its conjugates. Remember from our sword that if you have your A plus B, the conjugate of this is equal to bracket A minus B. Okay, so I want to multiply this by its conjugate. And so this will now give me the square root of 2 minus 1 by its own conjugate, which is the square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, so if we do that, this times this will give us the square root of 2 r squared. All right, then this times this will give me plus the square root of 2. And uh, we come to this term, minus 1 times root to give me minus root 2 and then minus 1 times plus 1 will give us minus 1. You know this, this leaves the system and this will give us 2. So we have here 2 minus 1 which eventually give us what? 1. So if we come down with our quantity here, so we now have here the square root of 2 minus 1 plus bracket bracket the square root of 2 plus 1. So at this point in time, I want to make the square root of 2 minus 1 the subject of the formula. In doing so, I'm going to divide through by square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, so this will give me the square root of 2 plus 1. I will equally divide the right hand side by the square root of 2 plus 1. So this we go with this. And I end up having the square root of 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 all over the square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, so from here, you now discover that your square root of 2 minus 1, which is what we have here, can be replaced with 1 all over the square root of 2 plus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and rewrite this, our original equation. So let's continue on this side. So from here, we're going to have our original equation will now become, or this now implies that the square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of x plus brackets. We want to replace this with this. So we have 1 all over the square root of 2 plus 1. Okay. Close bracket. All right, this. Close bracket all to the power of x equal to. 6. We can separate this by raising this to the power of x and raising this to the power of x. So this will now give us here the square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of x plus your 1 all over your square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of x is equal to 6. So we succeeded in making the quantity we have inside the bracket here to be same what we have here now. So at this point, we can bring in another alphabet to represent what we have here because they are same. Okay, so we can also say here, let, um, let's take a P, let P be equal to bracket your square root of 2 
flux one or to the power of x. So whatever we see this, let's put in p there. So this will now give us here yeah, our p flux one all over p equal to six. Eliminate this p by multiplying through by p. So if we do that, we're going to have here yeah, p squared plus one equal to six p. So rearranging, we have p squared minus six p plus one equal to zero. So now let's solve this quadratically using the uh, formula method. So from here, we're going to have our formula is equal to your p, your minus b plus minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac all over okay, 2a. So what is our b here? b from the equation is minus 6 and our c is um, plus 1 and our a is uh, 1. Okay, a is the coefficient of p here. So let's continue on this side. Let's erase this. So we have here p is equal to minus bracket minus c close bracket plus minus the square root of minus 6 to the power of 2. Okay, minus um, our 4 dot, our a is 1 dot, our c is also 1, all over 2 dot 1. This is equals to 6 plus minus the square root of 36 minus 4. Everything all over 2. This is equal to 6 plus into this minus this will give us 32 all over 2. So we can split 32 into, um, that is a 16 times 2. Yeah, 16 times 2. And 16 is a perfect square. So 16 times 2 will give us uh, 32. And so square root of 16 will give us 4. Okay, so we now have this to be our 6 plus minus 4 into the square root of 2 all over 2. If we use 2 to divide this, divide this, this will end up giving us 3 plus minus 2 into the square root of 2. So we have our P1, P2 in here now, right? Okay. What is the next thing we do? Recall we said let P be equal to um, bracket of P square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of X. So we have our P1, P2. So we'll take our case 1, case 1, where we now have our P, where we have our P1 to be your 3 plus 2 into the square root of 2. So we have from our expression there that our P is equal to, P1 is equal to bracket the square root of 2 plus 1 all to the power of x, which is equal to our P1, 3 plus 2 square root of 2. What we do here, we ellen both sides of the equation to get our x. So if we do that, we're going to have here ln of bracket square root of 2 plus 1 out of the power of x is equal to the ln of 3 plus 2 root 2. Easy. We make use of the law of logarithm. Okay? So we move this exponent back here. So if we move it here, then it returns to, let's continue on this side again. All right, for the properties of logarithm, we're going to have this to be our x ln, our bracket, again, the square root of 2 plus 1 equal to the ln of your 3 plus your 2 root 2. Okay, so we divide through by ln of your 2 plus 1. Okay, same here, ln of your square root of 2 plus 1. This, this leaves the system, so we now have our x1 is equal to the ln bracket yeah, 3. Yeah, so our 3 plus 2 root 2 plus bracket all over the ln of square root of 2 plus 1. So this is our x1.
Okay, so for our case two, case two, we have our P is equal to the three minus a two minus two into the square root of two. Again, from our assumption where we did here, so we have here your P two is equal to bracket our root two plus one out to the power of x, okay, which is equal to our three minus two root two. Again, we ln both sides of the equation to give us here ln of root two plus one out to the power of x is equal to the ln of three minus two root two. All right, so if we succumb to the properties, move this backwards, so we have ln bracket the square root of two plus one equals to the ln of three minus two root two. This is all over the ln of root two plus one. At the same time, we do the same thing here, so two plus one. This, this leaves the system, so we have our x2 is equal to, but x2 is equal to here, yeah? sorry, equal to the ln, ln of your three minus two root two, those brackets all over, then we have the ln of your root two plus one, close bracket. This is our x2. All right, so this brings us to the end of this challenge, this exponential challenge. If you learned something from here, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have a better way of solving this, drop it in the comment section. Thanks for being there. Bye for now.